In this report, I'm going to talk about how and how much is Tesla autonomous driving, full self-driving, I guess, is improving. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story so how and how much is tesla autonomous driving is improving i'm looking in quora and kevin davidson who has ms in mathematics and um, from clemson university in south carolina has an answer talking about this kevin says while tesla has released additional features like smart summon stop light and stop sign control improved visualization emergency lane departure avoidance and few other items the actual driving hasn't changed much in the past year for the generally released software version it works very well on controlled access highways pretty well on rural highways and not at all if the car has to turn at an intersection or navigating a traffic circle. The current capability is certainly useful, Kevin says, saying also it relieves the tedium of long distance driving and makes the car safer. But it's not autonomous. Tesla has not made the jump to level three autonomy where the driver doesn't have to monitor what the car is doing. In level three, the car can ask for help from the driver. But we're not in the uh, level three with current full sale driving fsd tesla which i think now sells for ten thousand dollars the price recently went up uh, at tesla uh, kevin also adds that tesla full sale driving is now available to a limited number of owners as a pre-release test version and there are quite a few uh, videos published by owners using the future in fact, you probably have seen some of them in our channel. People have shared them on uh, Twitter and so on. As someone who hopes to have this capability in my own car by the end of the year, Kevin says, I watch these videos and pay close attention to them. The car now understands its environment better, including roads with no lines and residential streets with cars parked sporadically on the street. The car also has handles lane changes and intersection on city streets. Uh, Kevin says, I haven't seen a video, but comments say it handles traffic circles as well. I am anxiously awaiting the opportunity to try this all out myself, after which I can give a far more expert opinion. This is what Tesla is calling feature complete. However, even if the car will take you from home to work and park itself without intervention, it's still level two autonomy so long as the driver has to keep its hands on his or her hands on the wheel or if the driver's eyes on the roads. As long as we have to do this, it's called level two. The next step toward autonomy will be taken in terms of reliability. When Tesla decides it's safe to remove the hands on the wheel requirement, then the car is instantly level three or level four. I think there is also level five, but I don't remember off the top of my head what level five is. Um, in 2018, friends, Consumer Reports rated Tesla Autopilot as second best out of four. And, you know, there are Cadillac, Tesla, Nissan, Volvo. They all have um, autopilots, kind of their own version of autopilot. And uh, Consumer Reports in 2018 rated Tesla Autopilot as second best out of four partially automated driving systems. That's how it was called. Autopilot scored high for its capabilities and ease of use, but was worse at keeping the driver engaged than the other manufacturer's system. Consumer Reports also found multiple problems with Autopilot's automatic lane change functions, such as cutting too close in front of other cars and passing, it, uh, passing on the right. In 2018, the Insurance uh, Institute for Highway Safety compared Tesla, BMW, Mercedes, and Volvo Advanced Driver Assistance Systems and stated that the Tesla Model 3 experienced the fewest incidents of crossing over lane, lane line, 
touching a lane line or disengaging. In 2019, Tesla Autopilot's Navigate on Autopilot Future won the Connected Car Innovation Award in Germany for Best Innovative Automotive Solution. And in 2020, uh, Car and Driver compared Cadillac Super Cruise, Comma AI, and Autopilot. The conclusion about Autopilot, highs, best user interface, most versatile, extreme capable laws dramatic steering inputs when it makes an occasional mistake no more hands-free capability and the verdict from the car and driver in 2020 was one of the best but can it really evolve all the way to self-driving in june 2020 digital trends compared cadillac super cruise self-driving and tesla autopilot the conclusion Super Cruise is more advanced while Autopilot is more comprehensive. In October 2020, the European New Car Assessment Program evaluated automated driving technologies for cars from 10 car manufacturers. It rated the Tesla Model 3 Autopilot as the highest of all, 95% on safety backup but the lowest of all 35 percent on assistance competence resulting in an overall moderate score also in october 2020 consumer reports evaluated 17 driver assistance systems and concluded that tesla autopilot was a distant second behind cadillac super cruise Autopilot was ranked first in the uh, capabilities and performance and the ease of use category, but it tied for last piece in clear when safe to use and tied for second to last place in keeping the driver engaged. The National Transportation Safety Board has cited Tesla's Autopilot uh, as a probable cause in at least three deadly crashes in ntsb has the ntsb has uh, criticized tesla for uh, failing to foresee and prevent predictable abuse for autopilot and tesla's marketing of the technology which they believe is dangerously misleading and deceptive giving consumers the false impression that their vehicles are self-driving or autonomous. UK safety experts have called Tesla's autopilot especially misleading. In 2019, IIHS study showed that the name autopilot causes more drivers to mis, uh, misperceive behaviors such as texting or taking a nap to be safe versus similar level to driving assistance system from other car comp companies. Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving futures have also been criticized in May 2020 report on auto, -nova um, auto novation, the greenwashing and vehicle automation. So you can see how Tesla uh, so full self-driving has, uh, uh, has improved in the past one month in the videos that are Go, that are being shared by those who are test driving Tesla's um, full self-driving this future which is in limited beta so what I would recommend go to YouTube and search Tesla FSD beta or Tesla FSD beta test or just simply Tesla full self-driving test results and you can see a lot of people on Twitter and on YouTube a lot of people who are in this beta sharing some usually there some short videos usually they are like one minute or maximum two minutes long you can see and there are a couple of people that uh, regularly do that almost every day they post videos they're really fun to watch and i think one of the recent videos that i saw about tesla autopilot was that in one circumstance it almost it actually did a like a, a wide u-turn which was i think very impressive and uh, you can see how Tesla has improved. But uh, this is what Tesla is calling future complete, the current version. However, as David notes in the in the core article, even if the car will take you from home to work and park itself without intervention, it's still level two autonomy. So long as the driver has to keep their drivers have to keep their hands on the wheel or their eyes on the road the next step toward autonomy will be taken in terms of reliability when tesla decides it's safe to remove the hands on the wheel requirement 
then the car is instantly a level 3 or level 4 autonomy. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are about current stage of Tesla's full self-driving beta. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news, and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. See you soon in our next story.